Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Emma. She was so beautiful. All the boys liked her very much, and all the girls were jealous of her. Emma was in love with a boy who was not very handsome, but honest and moral. His name was Jake. But Jake did not know that Emma loved him. Jake also liked Emma, but he did not tell her. They were very good friends, but they did not know that they loved each other. They spent many days together, having fun and laughing. But one day, Emma's family had to move to another city. Emma was very sad to leave Jake, and Jake was very sad to lose Emma. They promised to keep in touch, but as time passed, they lost contact. Emma missed Jake a lot, and Jake missed Emma a lot. Years passed, and Emma grew up. Her skin started to get some problems. She lost her beauty and became insecure about her appearance. She was no longer the most beautiful girl in the places where she had been. Emma graduated from university and decided to do a master's degree. For this reason, she returned to the city where she grew up, the only place where she could complete her education. Maybe she could see Jake again. She went to college and decided to do a master's degree in the city where she used to live with Jake. Jake also grew up and became a successful engineer. He never forgot Emma, and he searched for her many times, but he could not find her. He hoped to see her again someday. Emma was working hard to finish her master's degree, and she was going to the library almost every day to do research. One day, Emma went to the library to do research again, but she had very strange feelings. She felt very different that day. When she entered the library, she couldn't believe her eyes because Jake was there too. He was sitting across from the table where Emma always sat and reading something. Emma couldn't find anywhere to sit, but the seat which in front of the Jake, she had to sit on it. Emma recognized Jake immediately, but Jake did not recognize Emma. She looked very different from the girl he remembered. Emma pretended not to know Jake because she thought he would not like her anymore. She felt ashamed of her appearance. Jake felt a strange attraction to the girl in front of him. He did not know why, but he wanted to talk to her more. He introduced himself and asked for her name. She said it was Amy, a fake name she made up on the spot. They started talking and found out that they had many things in common. They liked the same music, the same movies, the same books. They laughed at the same jokes, and they felt comfortable with each other. They exchanged phone numbers and agreed to meet again soon. They became friends again, without knowing that they were old friends. Jake started to fall in love with Amy. His heart beated faster when he saw her, even though she was not very beautiful. He liked her personality, her kindness, her intelligence, her humor. He did not care about her looks. He cared about her hearth. Amy also started to fall in love with Jake again, even more than before. She saw that he was still the same boy she loved, only more mature and confident. She wanted to tell him the truth, but she was afraid of his reaction. One day, they decided to go to the park. They sat on a bench and looked at the sky. Jake said, Amy, I have something to tell you. Emma said, me too, you go first. Jake said, Okay, Amy, I think I'm falling in love with you. Emma said, I have same feelings for you too. Jake said, I'm so happy now. But there is something else I need to tell you. Emma said, What is it? Jake said, I've been looking for someone for a long time. Someone I met when I was a kid, Someone I never forgot. Emma said, Who is it? Jake said, Her name is Emma. Emma said, Emma. Jake said, Yes, Emma. She was my best friend. 
and I loved her more than anything, but she moved away and I never saw her again. Emma said, Jake. Jake said, do you know her? Emma said, yes. Jake said, you do? How? Where is she? Is she okay? Emma said, Jake, I'm Emma. Jake said, what? Emma said, I'm Emma. I'm sorry I lied to you. I was afraid you wouldn't like me anymore because I'm not beautiful like before. Jake said, you're Emma? You're really Emma? Emma said, yes. Jake said, but how? You look so different. Emma said, I had some problems with my skin. It changed my appearance, but I'm still me. The same girl you knew, Jake said. Wow, I can't believe it. You're Emma. Emma said, please don't be mad at me. Please don't hate me. Jake said, mad? Hate? No. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm just surprised and happy. Emma said, happy? Jake said, yes, happy, because I found you. Because you're here. Because you love me. Because I love you. Emma said, you do? Jake said, of course I do. You're the most beautiful girl in the world to me. Not because of your face, but because of your soul. You're the one I've been looking for all my life. You're my true love. They hugged each other. They felt a warm and wonderful feeling in their hearts. They realized that they had found their soulmates. They lived happily ever after. What is the fake name Emma uses to introduce herself to Jake? Amy? Willa? Mia? Sarah? Time is over. How did Jake find Emma years later? By searching for her on social media. By a chance encounter at the library. Through a mutual friend. Through Emma's family. Time is over. What do Jake and Emma do at the end of the story? They break up and start dating other people. They continue living happily together. Emma has to leave again. Jake and Emma continue living in separate cities but keep in touch. Time is over.